Voyager 1, terrifying and shocking discovery after 45 years in interstellar space. The most stunning secrets in the world do not lie in people's hearts. They are in space. There is so much mystery in space that humanity will never be truly able to get the answers to the many questions they have always had about space. Each time astronauts head to space, we expect them to come back with answers to questions and more mysteries that will make us ask even more questions. The mysteries that astronauts discover when they go to space are shocking. However, beyond being mind-blowing, they can be really scary. This is the case with the latest discovery of Voyager 1 after close to five decades in space. Welcome to our channel, where we provide you with facts related to space. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so that you may get all of our updates. NASA had already created the Mariner series probes before they realized this opportunity. It looked into Mars, Mercury, and Venus, three of our neighbors. Beyond what had already been accomplished, greater space exploration was still required. NASA then dispatched the Viking spacecraft to study the supposedly dry surface of Mars and search for any indications of life or the potential for it. NASA developed Pioneer probes, and Pioneer 10 was the first spacecraft to leave the solar system. No matter how impressive these space projects and probes' findings were, they paled in comparison to the innovation that was about to take place. It would alter space exploration and how we view the cosmos going forward. Results from earlier space travel were going to be met and surpassed, which surprised scientists. The world was unprepared for the startling findings that scientists would uncover in the years following a new space voyage mission. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, discovered something fascinating in the 1960s. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were expected to form a massive arc in space in the second half of the 1970s. This alignment only takes place once every 176 years, and it offers a rare chance to investigate these planets during a flyby flight. Using planetary gravity for acceleration simultaneously allowed for a considerable reduction in journey time, allowing for a 12-year trip to Neptune. For this journey, they created a new, more competent probe. The scientists wouldn't realize the probe would be more capable than anticipated until more than halfway through the development process, when they decided to add some flavor. Both spacecraft are powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which converts the heat produced by plutonium's radioactive disintegration into electricity. Ten scientific instruments were installed on both missions, including a magnometer, two image cameras, several spectrometers, and a device for detecting high-energy cosmic rays and low-energy charged particles. Mission team members have also used the Voyager's communication system to assist them in studying planets and moons, increasing the total number of scientific investigations on each probe to 11. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977, and its mission was to conduct a planetary study of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But its twin probe would show that it was also capable of much more. Voyager 1 began its grand journey through space on September 5, 1977, just 16 days after Voyager 2. Its goals were the exploration of the outer planets and interstellar space. Additionally, it was transporting the identical cargo that was added to the Voyager 2 probe. The first pictures of Jupiter's atmosphere and surface characteristics were sent by Voyager 1. With clear photographs of Jupiter, researchers could better formulate findings and conclusions regarding the massive planet. It sent back even more intriguing and educational pictures a year after the initial set. 
The Voyager saw the giant planet's small dust ring and images of Jupiter's moons, Lo, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and Amalthea. Additionally, it delivered pictures of Metis and two new moons there. These images allowed for the discovery that the moons of Jupiter were independently active worlds. Voyager 1 was able to quickly slingshot past Voyager 2 and toward the Helio sheet, which it has already crossed as of 2012. Voyager 1 had launched 16 days earlier than its twin due to more favorable launch conditions. Voyager 1 kept moving away from the Jupiter system before beginning its approach with the Saturnian system in 1980. Before approaching Saturn, it first photographed the rich atmosphere of Teuton, one of Saturn's moons, then Tethys, Saturn's second moon, Mimas, Enceladus Ray, and Hyponon. Voyager 2 was progressively catching up in this intergalactic voyage. Made its flybys of Neptune in 1986, Jupiter in 1979, Saturn in 1981, and Uranus in 1983. Voyager 1 had already started its primary mission, which is to investigate and discover what lies outside our solar system's confines. To accomplish this, Voyager 1 has to cross the heliopause. NASA approved the construction of two golden records for Voyagers 1 and 2, since scientists anticipated that they would one day be able to travel as far as interstellar space. On board, scientists installed greetings in 55 languages and sounds ranging from whale noises to Chuck Berry music. In case extraterrestrials ever came across the spacecraft and wondered where it came from, the 12-inch wide, 30-centimeter gold-plated copper disks also had pictorial instructions on how to use them and the location of the sun among nearby pulsars a type of fast-spinning stellar corpse known as a neutron star. In August 2012, Voyager 1 exploded into interstellar space after leaving the heliosphere, a vast bubble of charged particles that the sun blows around itself. A study that was released in 2013 made the discovery public. The findings were made public after Voyager 1's plasma wave detector captured a strong solar explosion between April 9th and May 22nd, 2013. Electrons close to Voyager 1 vibrated because of the outburst. Researchers determined that Voyager 1's surroundings had a higher density than what is found immediately within the heliosphere from the oscillations. The fact that the electron density is higher in interstellar space than in the solar system looked at odds with one another. However, scientists reasoned that the electron density is significantly lower at the heliosphere's edge than in nearby areas. The precise departure date was then determined by researchers using the data from Voyager 1 and was determined to be August 25, 2012. In addition to electron oscillations, the date was determined from the spacecraft's readings of charged solar particles. On November 5, 2018, at 122 AU, 11.3 billion miles from the Sun, Voyager 2 joined Voyager 1, which had been traveling successfully in interstellar space since August 2012. Therefore, the accomplishment of both spacecraft represented a significant advance in science and space exploration. Scientists are beginning to wonder how much longer Voyager 2 can operate. Given that it is currently 12.1 billion miles, 19.5 billion kilometers, from Earth and still sending data on the far off and unexplored heliopause. According to Jonathan Lunine, a planetary scientist and physicist at Cornell University who works on the Juno, Europa Clipper, and James Webb Space Telescope missions, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 left outstanding legacies for planetary exploration not only in terms of the science they accomplished, but also in showing that it was feasible to explore the outer solar system with a few spacecraft. Voyager 1 entered interstellar space and has since returned with a wealth of useful data on the environment there. Its findings reveal the extreme intensity of cosmic radiation and the interactions between charged particles 
released by the Sun and other stars. Engineers have only continued to be amazed by the spacecraft's capabilities. For instance, NASA reported in December 2017 that Voyager 1 had successfully repositioned itself to speak with Earth using its backup thrusters. Since Voyager 1's flyby of Saturn in November 1980, this trajectory correction maneuver, TCM, thrusters have not been deployed. Since then, the spacecraft has primarily swung into the proper orientation for communication with Earth using its standard attitude control thrusters. However, NASA decided to test the TCM thrusters, which could increase Voyager 1's operational life, as the attitude control thrusters' performance deteriorated. In the end, that test was successful. However, on May 18, 2022, NASA revealed that Voyager 1 has been returning enigmatic data. The probe's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, aims to steer the spacecraft's high-gain antenna toward Earth and manage attitude maneuvers. In the most recent data, the AACS has returned, but the situation on Voyager needs to be accurately represented. According to NASA, the data appears to have been generated randomly and should be different from the current state of the AACS. According to NASA, the team will monitor the signal closely to ascertain whether the erroneous information originated from the AACS or some other system that generates and transmits telemetry data. The team cannot foresee whether this might affect how long the spacecraft can collect and share science data until the nature of the issue is better understood. What could the origin of this enigmatic data from the previously operational probe be? Have we at last discovered some extraterrestrial life? From encounters with the outer solar system's massive planets to encounters breaking through the heliosphere into interstellar space, the Voyagers have been a source of many surprises and discoveries for scientists and the entire world since their launch in 1977. They also continue to be stewards of messages from Earth if they come across extraterrestrial life forms. Thanks for watching this video. Do tell us your views in the comments box. For more educational videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future updates. See you in the next video. Bye.